Venus Underwater. This is a song called Edging, and it's about when you're almost there. You just can't forget you just got to get over Baby, lady, I've been losing my mind Sometimes I feel down and I don't know why I'm not nearly as important as I'd like to be So having to do all these like Zoom performances and now going into live performances, how has that been for y'all? It's been really great. Um, like it's, it's, it's great to just like play and stuff and to be able to do that. But like doing it in front of people is I think why we really do it. Yeah, definitely. I, I actually was able to um, see at least a little bit of your show with them with Naptaker over at Lina's. Mm. Yeah. Um, so Doing that, um, how is performing with Naptaker? How has it been performing with other bands? Yeah, it's really great. It's uh, I think with like local music, uh, like if you really listen to like the stuff that they do, it's a lot easier to relate to people that are making music in your like immediate surroundings. You know, like that are living probably more similar lives to you than people in other places. So I think you can find you can find a lot in people that that are just making music around you. So it's a lot. It's a lot of fun to play with those people. For sure, yeah. And so while we're out, why don't we go, do you all want to go ahead and introduce yourselves and everything? Yeah. Uh, I'm Caleb McClellan. I, I sing and I play guitar. Uh, I'm Colin Adams. Uh, I play drums. I am Ryan Smith and I play the bass. <laughs> I am Brendan Smith. I play a second guitar. That's about it. Awesome. So, what other head of live performances have y'all been doing besides, you know, Linus and obviously WRFL Live here? And thank you all so much for being here. Really appreciate it. I know that y'all are keeping a busy schedule and everything. <laughs> Mostly just stuff around town so far. Uh, we're we're trying to branch out and uh, kind of the surrounding area, and we've we've got more on that coming up probably the next couple of months. But so far, just like the you know fish tank owls. The, the usual Lexington lineup. Oh, exciting. Yeah. So with all those live performances, have, th have there been any just like absolutely standout experiences that y'all have had? Yeah, we... Um, when we played Owls like last month, we sound... The, the, guy, the guy on mix, I think his name's Eric, he plays the accordion. He, he, does, a, he does a fantastic job. And uh, right before the pandemic, we got to play Cosmic Charlie's right before it closed with Mirrored Image. That was that was a lot of fun. That's awesome. Wow, accordion. <laughs> yeah, accordion. It's a dying art form. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate it. I, I appreciate that so much, yeah. So with all of those instruments, you know, y'all are playing, you know, this four-piece band. Have y'all ever wanted to, like, branch out into other different instruments, anything like that? I think it'd be, like, cool to, like, add, like, a horn or something at some point. 
but that's not something we really planned for. We were like a, a three piece for a long time. Mm-hmm. So even the four piece is new enough. And I think we found like a, something that works really well for us. Yeah, for sure. So I know that y'all have mentioned a few bands that you have played with, you know, Naptaker, Mirrored Image. Have there been any other local bands who you all have been performing with a lot? Um, we played with Arlen Gun Club. They're from Cincinnati, but they're very good. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Um, who else Who else have we played with recently? recently? Uh, local Violence. Uh, I think they have an EP. Oh, they have nice. an album yes. coming out. Yes. Um, Mustard Boy, which yeah. is like <laughs> two people from Skunch that are that were doing kind of a little side project thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know Skunch. Actually, one of the guys from Skunch is in one of my classes. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I know that all of you are students. So do you all um, study music or do you study other things? Uh, I think I'm the only one that studies music. Really? Uh, I actually I do a little bit on the side, like 30 minutes every Monday of music theory, but not much more than that. Yeah. So how has that been, you know, being in a band and also studying music like as your academic thing how has that balance been um it's been it's kind of been that that's kind of what most like education is what most of my time goes into and this is kind of my break from that um because this is undoubtedly the most that i've ever gotten out of anything musical you know like this is what i really enjoy doing the most aside from aside from that definitely so are all of you, you know, sort of formally academically trained musicians or how many of you have just, you know, picked it up on the side and turned out, hey, this is something I really like doing? Yeah, was, that was kind of the case for all of us. I'm only trained like in very recently now that I'm going to like school for it. And I think Colin, right, you had some. Yeah, I originally started out, you know, just self-taught and it wasn't until my senior year that I actually joined high school band and got a year of experience. And for guitar, I'm entirely self-taught. They just asked me, hey, you want to play bass? I'm like, sure. <laughs> yeah, he, he picked it up solely for the purpose of this band. Dedication. Yeah, yeah. We, we showed him how to play Seven Nation Army, and that was the first practice. Yeah, we, me and my brother played uh, about a couple, about five years maybe in a... Uh, clarinet. Con- yeah, for clarinet, but not guitar. I played um, bass clarinet. I take yeah. some music gig classes in high school, but that's about all I got. Dang. Uh, oh, love the variety of, you know, the different trainings and everything. So, mention um Seven Nation Army as one of the <laughs> 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 For really, like what other what other kinds of bands have y'all listened to that kind of influence your sound? Um, cool. The Strokes are my are my all-time favorite. And that's what I get the happiest when people compare, like, t- tell us that we sound like. Um, we listen, we sound like Weezer, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I love Weezer to death. Um, I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think? Oh. Well, hopefully soon I'll get a keyboard and we'll sound like Tame Impala or something like that. That'd be cool. Oh, yes. I enjoy a lot of Tame Impala. Well, we do sound a lot like uh, The Strokes. Yeah, Yeah. that's, prob- that's probably it. The Strokes, yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So we're about 10 minutes in. How would we feel about doing another song? Yeah, sure. Thank awesome. <laughs>
don't, I don't, oh, I don't need it anymore. moms have separately come to me and said that this is their favorite song um like unprompted uh so this is the this one goes out to our moms um if they're if they're listening out there um this goes out to everybody else's mom too uh the song is called orion's belt and it goes a little something. <laughs> the joys of live music and having to tune. goes like something like this.
and sweet. All right, that was Orion's Belt by Venice Underwater, our guest here tonight for WRFL Live.